there's power in your voice. In everything that you speak, there's power. What you speak on, in most cases, can manifest itself. Now, do you speak positive or do you speak negative? How many times have you put yourself in a position where you honestly doubted yourself and you spoke on it? How many times have you actually spoke and said, I'm going to get through this and it happened? This is what we call claiming. Claiming it and believing in it. I myself have experienced many, many challenges in my life. And sometimes I put myself in a dark position, in a place that I didn't belong because I didn't believe. I claimed the loss instead of claiming the victory. I didn't hold on to believing in the possibilities. Instead, I claimed a loss. I claimed something that didn't even happen yet instead of holding on to something that could be great in my life. I realized that this is the time that I have to start claiming the goodness rather than the bad. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. These challenges that I faced in my life, I still face them every single day. But I built up enough in me to know that this too shall pass. And I don't have to worry about the things that I cannot control. And I realized that I have to claim the goodness rather than the bad. Bad things has to happen in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. We have to go through certain things. And this is what's going to make us better. This is what's going to make us stronger. But you got to claim what it is that you are seeking in your life. You know how many times people right now will say, I didn't get this job. I'm not strong enough. I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm not able to get to this level. I'm not able to go further. I'm not able to get that job. I went to the interview and I don't even know if I got the job. Because you didn't claim it. I went out on the field. And I tried out for the football team. You tried? Why is try the only thing you know? Why do you feel that trying is all you good for? Why can't you claim your victory? Why can't you own it and understand it? That it's yours. It belongs to you. It's already been set in stone, but you got to speak it into existence. You got to claim it and know that no one can take it away from you. Own it. Stand on it. And believe in it. Claim it. Something that is already there has already been there for you. You just didn't go seek for it and you didn't go after it and you didn't look for it. You didn't seek after it. You didn't go after it the right way because your attitude puts you back instead of pushing you forward. Claiming it. Stop claiming excuses. Stop claiming misery. Stop claiming doubt. Stop believing what everyone is telling you. Stop letting other people dictate your destiny. Stop letting things dictate your life. You are the one that's in the driver's seat. If excuses is the passenger, open up the door and kick them out. And keep on driving down your path. Claim what's yours. Own what's yours. You are a unique individual. Everybody is never going to be where they want to be in life because sometimes they focus too much on the bad things and not claiming the good times. Not claiming, hey, no matter what struggle I go through, I am going to make it. But you got to believe it. You got to trust it. And you got to give 110% of everything you have. I stand on everything I do in my life. I've hurt. I've had many days that I didn't think that I could carry on. I've had my days. 
I have my sunshiny days and I have my stormy days. But I never give up. I never given up. I never stop believing in myself. I say to you all that are listening to my voice today, claim your victories. Stand on what you believe in. Trust in yourself. Go after your dreams. No matter what rejections that come, you were created for a reason. Now believe in it. Claim it. Own it. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Remember the time when you wanted more. Remember the time when there were people in your life that did not believe in you. Remember the time when you honestly gave up on the possibilities of the uniqueness that you had inside. Remember there was a time that you complained so much, but yet did so little. There comes to a point in your life that you must recognize that there's a little bit more that has to be done than just complaining about it. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in the position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you. And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now that are far greater than your complaining. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. If you could trade places with someone right now, and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher then you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment. But yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you. But yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right to just throw in the towel and say that it's over for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that the reason that you are existing in this world right now is because you have things that must be done and only certain people are qualified to take it to the level that it needs to be taken to. For there should never be a limitation to wherever it is that you are seeking and how far you are willing to travel and how far you are willing to go. Sometimes people tend to get a little lazy. Sometimes people like to put themselves in this little bitty box and just say that they are okay with where they are. There can never just be an okay to anything when it comes to that life. There should never just be a complacent mindset. How do we evolve? How do you evolve? How do you grow? One thing about success, there are gonna be many struggles. There are gonna be many challenges. And there are gonna be a lot of things that you may not
not even understand. But you got to go back to where it started. Remember when you wanted more. Because you cannot satisfy your hunger with negative energy. Being negative doesn't help you to grow. Being doubtful doesn't give you the power that you need. You have to come to a point in your life that you must realize that there are things that are going on that is testing you. And maybe you may be in a position where you feel that you are broken or you feeling that you're going to be broken. But I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are built to last. I'm here to let you know that you don't have the right to complain anymore. I'm here to let you know that you got to keep on living and living on strong. I dare you to take a trip to your local hospital. And if you have an opportunity to walk down those corridors and witness so many different people, different age groups, different ethnicities, and each one of these individuals are fighting something, they're dealing with some type of sickness. And some of these sicknesses, they may not be able to recover from. I dare you to walk down a neighborhood where there are many people that are homeless and have no place to go, no food to eat, barely even have clothes on their backs. I dare you to realize that maybe you just don't have it so bad after all. Maybe it's time for you to realize and recognize that your troubles are not that bad. Maybe it's time that you realize that you need to get away from the drama that's in your life. Maybe it's time for you to stop chasing misery and start chasing your dreams. Reconnect with yourself. Because this is not the time for you to be wasting putting yourself back instead of pushing yourself forward. Ladies and gentlemen, you have so much, so much to offer, so much to give, so much to do, but doing it and sitting around waiting for it to happen it's just going to stay in neutral. You have to electrify the desire that you have, that you once had. So the next time you feel like complaining, you feel like worrying, and you're so concerned about other things that doesn't necessarily concern you, ask yourself, is it making you better? Is it taking you higher? Are you going further? Or are you just being complacent? Complacent and complaining and worrying and doing things that are not better for you. Are you going to realize that maybe just going up that mountain does take a little bit more work than just having something handed to you? Are you going to be that person that realizes that if and when you get to the top of the mountain, it don't just stop there. You got to figure out another way to go even higher. You have to electrify and get all the things that are necessary within you to start doing the things that you need to do so when the time comes, you can kick down that door and move towards the possibilities of being the best of who you really are. Don't lose yourself and the things that's not going to give you the strength 
and the capacity of understanding that you matter for something. Don't lose yourself in fear. Don't lose yourself in doubt. Dare yourself to be better. Dare yourself to be unique. Dare yourself to be the best possibility that the world has yet to see. I hurt every day of my life. But I learned through the pain. My mother and father are gone. I don't have parents anymore. When I lost my mother 10 years ago, I didn't think that this woman would just leave so soon. But she's gone now. It hurts to even speak on the transition and how she went through and the things that she had to endure, but she's no longer suffering. But I also remember the words that she instilled in me and the things that she would tell me as a, as a young man. And she would say to me, son, no matter how hard things get in life, don't let the pain turn you away from your truth. Learn from your pain. Learn from all of the struggles that you will face in life and continue to make a difference in this world. And now that I'm at the age that I am today, I do that every day of my life. And recently losing my father, it became even more of a struggle. And to this day, I still grieve. I still mourn them. But every loss that has happened, it has given me power. It has given me strength. It has resonated through my veins to turn my pain into my passion. Now, the thing you have to consider is that pain is good for you. Pain is going to do so much to you. Pain is going to do things that you can never understand. Sooner or later, you have to realize that through the pain, that will come a victory. Now, you're probably saying, Coach, why are you talking about all of this sorrow, all of these things that you dealt with in your life? But ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you as though you're here in this place with me right now. I'm opening up to you right now. This is not something that is scripted. In fact, I don't even do scripted speeches or anything like that. I am opening up to you to let you know that no matter what struggles that you have been through in your life, no matter how much pain that you've experienced in your life, you have to turn into something greater than your pain. I hurt every day of my life but I learned through the pain. I struggle some days of my life, but I learned through the pain. Sometimes I want to quit and give up, but I realize it's not my time. In fact, I'm never here to give up. I'm here to go up. I'm here to soar beyond the clouds. I've been homeless. I wanted to give my life up. I have had everything thrown at me. I have been rejected. But I rose above it. Because I know who I am inside. The question is, do you know who you are inside? Your circumstances your challenges, your losses, everything that you have endured in your life, if you're standing on your two feet right now, if you got breath in your body, you are not done. You have power right now. You have strength right now. Don't let nothing hold you back. I'm here to give you the message of hope 
and understanding that no matter what struggle that you are going through, no matter what pain you are going through, let your pain be your passion. Let it flow through your veins. Don't quit on your destiny. Don't give up because you had significant losses. Don't feel that because you were rejected in your life that you cannot carry on. Now I speak about my parents because they were amazing people in my life. And now it's up to me to carry the torch. So when you lose someone close to you, someone close to your heart, don't ever give up on who you are inside because they will want you to continue to live on. They will want you to live on because that is exactly what they instilled in you. So today, I will continue to represent my mother and father because that was my greatest loss. My greatest loss was losing the people that gave me life. The people that taught me right from wrong. The people that told me no matter what you do in life, son, don't give up. Don't give up. Fight through the pain. Fight through the pain. If you lose, find a way to win again. If you're hurting this side, turn it around and make it something greater. Ignite the fire in your soul. It's okay to be human. My emotions and my sorrows, I know how to control them. I understand how to use them. I understand that through every loss, I turned it around and I made it something greater. I made it more stronger. I built something. I truly am building an empire of passion, strength, wisdom, and a victory is just waiting for me. Am I done? Absolutely not. Am I stronger? Every day of my life, every breath that I take, I get stronger. You can be stronger. So yes, my pain became my passion. It has taught me to teach others to carry on, to never give up, to keep reaching. And no matter the losses, no matter the circumstances, you don't give up on your life. You keep living, you keep fighting. Because even through the losses, there are always great victories. No matter your losses, no matter your rejections, no matter your failures, keep living. No matter what you have going on in your life right at this moment, keep living because through the pain, you can bring forth your passion. Let it resonate through your soul, through your veins and your mind and press on. So today and for the rest of my life, my pain will always be my passion. I know that I have life yet to live. For my mother and father, I will live. For my wife and children, I will live. For those that trust and believe in me, I will live. For this is all I can do. And there is no turning back. So ladies and gentlemen, I say to you all, continue to live your life. Let your pain be your passion. 
And even if you're hurting inside, turn it around. Make it burn through your veins. Let it burn through your heart and soul. And let it resonate and be powerful than you've ever been in your life. My pain will continue to flow. But I understand that through my pain, my passion will continue to manifest itself into greater ideas. So ladies and gentlemen, you continue to be strong. You stay encouraged. You don't look back. You continue to look forward. You keep your head up high. You keep rising above the clouds. Keep it moving. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you right now to conduct your business. Many things will come at you. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up, but you don't have the permission to do so. The stage is set, and it's time to rock and roll. You're going to feel the heat, but you got to be cool. You got to calm your storm. You are walking into an arena, and you must be ready to work. There could be no weakness. There can be no excuses. Why does life have to be so difficult? Put away the destructive mindset. And if you stumble and fall, remember the ground will never apologize to you. It is time to take control of your now, to be able to get back in the driver's seat, to understand that you must be tougher than your life. It's not done yet. Welcome to the jungle. It's a day to define who you truly are inside. You better be ready to show out. We must put on that suit of armor. We must disconnect ourselves and stop being prisoners to the sadness, to the fear, and these battles that we must face has different stories connected to it. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives has many things that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. We must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all going to face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. Life is beautiful. And you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can. If you're holding on to fear, disconnect it. That relationship that you are in right now may not be working out. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Focus on your opportunities. You have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. This is what makes you unique. Press on and fight with everything you have. 
You have let everything around you destroy you and you haven't even given yourself a chance. Just because you failed, you want to quit. Just because you didn't make the cut, you want to quit. Just because somebody didn't like you today and they didn't love you tomorrow, you want to quit. You want to give up on your life and your life is yours and it doesn't belong to anyone else but you. Enough is enough. Make the reality a reality about you. Make it work for you. Believe in it, work on it, stand on it, fight for it, and get it done. We all have battles. And some of these battles are difficult. Some of these battles we can recover from. And some of these battles may take a lot longer and some we may not win at all. But while you're living, while you're breathing, the battle continues and you continue to fight every single day of your life. You continue to believe every single day of your life and you don't give in to weakness, to fear. And when you feel in that particular weakness, you feel defeated. Well, I'm here to let you know right now, you're not defeated. You're just depleted. You're tired because you're human. And we all get tired from time to time. But that doesn't mean that you are defeated. You're just a little depleted. And that means you got to hit that reset button. That means you got to catch that second wind. That means you got to find that other source of power and strength to carry on. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being your best. Thank you for being strong. When weakness did everything possible to stop you. Thank you for lifting your head up instead of looking down. Realizing that you have much more within you than less of yourself. Make every possibility count in your life. This is the time to move in silence. Make noise, but let your actions do the work. Life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances. A significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in a position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it no one deserves to control it. 
no one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life and you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. There are going to be so many different things that you will embark on. There are going to be so many different things that's going to try to slow you down. There are going to be so many different challenges that you must face. But instead of running away from the challenge, run towards the challenge. Be able to understand that life has meaning. It has reason. And all of these things that you may be thinking that is so hard on you. Just remember, sometimes you're going to have to go through these changes, these circumstances that puts you in a position to make you feel that you're not worthy anymore. But make no mistake, you are worthy. You were created for something. You wasn't created for nothing. Life has a gift. A gift of giving. A gift of receiving. And whether if it's good or bad, you got to make sure you understand that these circumstances and these challenges has to happen in your life. You will come to a point that you may feel that you are in a hopeless situation. You may come to a point in your life where you're at the end of a rope and the only thing left to do is to climb up because you only can do so much for so long. But make sure you're doing much more instead of doing less. Stop stressing about the things that you cannot control and stop focusing on the things that you have control of. Take control of your life. Take control of the opportunities. Believe in yourself and know that it is not over for you. So many people out there in this world right now will try to tell you not to be something that you feel in your heart that you want to be. So many people out there right now are miserable and they'll try their best to take you with them. Do not let misery control the life that you have. Do not let anyone tell you how to live it. Do not let anyone validate your purpose. Do not let anyone validate your destiny. Someone told you a long time ago that you wasn't worthy. Someone looked you in the eye and said you wasn't going to make it. I say to you right now that you will make it. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. And make no mistake, no one is gonna do you better than you. Don't wait for something to happen. You make it happen. You make it happen for a reason. And take full responsibility and control of this thing we call life. of us can possess the ego attitude what makes an ego so magnificent is it the courage is it the demeanor is it the strength is it the willpower to be able to soar as high as we can. 
to be able to look down at all of the opportunities and being able to attack when they present themselves. To know that you can do the impossible, not just surviving, but living. Knowing how to hunt, to be brave. You're not depending on anybody, but you're being independent, like the eagle. You got to get up, you got to fly, you got to soar. You got to be that eagle. Just look at that eagle. It's truly magnificent. You never see an eagle complaining. You never see an eagle whining and worrying about how it's gonna get his meal. I mean, let's just think about it. An eagle is flying, but an eagle must eat. It has to eat to survive or live. Well, let's think about that for a moment. Do you think what the eagle is hunting is going to just sit there and wait to be eaten? Because the thing about success, you got to work for it. It's not supposed to be given. It's not going to just sit around. The eagle knows what it must do. The question is, do you know what you got to do? Do you have that ability? Being capable to soar amongst the clouds. Do you really think that's how success works? The only way that the eagle is going to eat, it has to work for its prey. Now have that mindset. Hey, I can't get anything unless I go after it. The eagle is not sitting around waiting for something to happen. The eagle is going about its business and doing what it's supposed to do. You got to be that eagle. The eagle may enjoy the hunt. Do you enjoy the hunt? Or do you feel sorry? Or do you feel like this is too much for you? I don't want to work like this. I just want it handed to me. The eagle is not sitting around waiting for something to happen. The eagle is going about his business and doing what it's supposed to do. What happened is that you got comfortable. You felt that you didn't have to work anymore. You got high, but you don't know how to go a little bit higher. You thought that because you made it, you made it. You didn't make it because you just got what you got. You got to keep going up a little bit more. You can't just sit here and be complacent with your life. You can't grow just sitting still. You can't eat sitting still. You can't satisfy your hunger sitting still this is how the attitude must manifest itself you got to fly be the eagle within yourself be that person that no one has ever seen before be something unique be something great be something that the world will look back and say who is that person? Where did they come from? That is something unique about that individual. That person is so hungry and so driven. Somebody ask you, what pushes you? Your response should be, I got to have that ego attitude. I got to soar amongst the clouds. I got to soar amongst the clouds. I got to soar above the clouds. Nothing is going to stop my purpose. Because I got the attitude like an eagle. So keep on flying high. Don't let the rejection stop you. Don't let people tell you that you're not good enough. If you got an idea, then stand on it. If you got something in you and you want to share it with the world, put it out there. Maybe everybody is not going to listen. Maybe everybody doesn't want to hear what you got to say. Maybe everybody doesn't want you in their camp. 
You got to be that eagle. You got to get up. You got to fly. You got to soar. Sometimes you may want to come down, but you got to fly back up again. Sometimes you got to cruise, but you got to be powerful even when you're cruising. Ego attitude is such a beautiful thing. It's truly magnificent. Just look at that ego. Do you have that mindset? Do you trust in your abilities? Do you know that you have something special within yourself? Or do you trust in the things that people said you couldn't do? Did you let the world show you that you didn't have what it take to be what you wanted to be? You never see an ego complaining. You never see an ego whining and worrying about how it's going to get its meal. The ego knows what it must do. The question is, do you know what you got to do? Do you have that ability? Being capable to soar amongst the clouds, to go a little bit higher than the clouds. You can't be the average person when it comes to success. Because the thing about success, you got to work for it. Ego mindset. There are many battles that we all face in life. Certain circumstances will come into your life. And these battles that we must face has different stories connected to it. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives has many things and many circumstances that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. But we must find a way we must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all going to face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. But we must have the winning attitude. Regardless if we fall down. Regardless if the struggle is so hard. Regardless if we get pushed back a few steps. We must continue to press on. We must disconnect ourselves. And stop being prisoners to the sadness, to the weakness, to the fear, to the doubt. We must become strong. We must become something unique. We must put on that suit of armor and prepare ourselves for battle. Every battle cannot be won. But the winning attitude to not give up is more than enough to carry on. The places that you will go in your life, the places that you have been in your life, you have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. And this is what makes you special. This is what makes you unique. And this is what makes you stand out. 
But you are not out. You are not out of the fight. You must continue to press. Press on and fight with everything you have. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. So many people have given up so much of themselves. They have disconnected themselves from the reality that they are unique, that they are special, that they are blessed with this life. Life is beautiful and you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can because it will not last forever. If you're holding on to stress, disconnected. If you're holding on to fear, disconnected. If you're holding on to sorrow, if you're holding on to weakness, disconnect it. That relationship that you are in right now may not be working out. But that doesn't mean that you can't get out and resonate yourself. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Don't try to fix others. Focus on your opportunity. Focus on who you are as an individual. You can't save the world, but you can definitely make a difference. But make sure you make the difference within you. Because as long as you are leading the path, the right ones will walk with you. They will follow you. They will stand with you. They will break bread with you. So you must continue to believe. You must continue to understand that on this day, on this hour, this is your day and your time is now. Hold on tight and don't let go. Focus on what is necessary and disconnect yourself from the things that are not necessary. If you're feeling like you're going down, open up your heart and open up your mind and look up, carry on and believe in it. For each and every day of your life is a blessing, a blessing to breathe, a blessing to walk, a blessing to do what is necessary to continue the life and not holding on to things that's not going to get you to the level in life you want to be. Some people are not willing enough to believe in themselves. But what are you going to do? How will you make a difference? How will you stand? And how would you fight? These battles that we face each and every day of our lives, they will continue to come. And you will not win every battle. And the battles that you face will help you to get stronger. Because even if you lose a battle and you're still breathing and you're still walking and you're still able to make moves, then you still have enough fight left to carry on. And on this journey, while you are carrying on all of the things, remember the circumstances that you had to face. Remember the losses. Remember the victories. And understand that everything that you went through in your life, it had to be. It had to be this way. You may question it, but it had to be this way. You may not even understand it, but it had to be this way. Even with the mistakes that you've made in your life, yet, 
It had to be this way. But the mistakes that you have made, you've learned, you've grown, and you understood that you don't need to go back to that mistake again. And yes, sometimes you may make the same mistakes, but those mistakes can be even more crucial in your life. And this is why you must continue to push forward and get rid of the things that are not making you better. The battle continues. Carry on. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. The moment of truth. The moment is now. You got to be prepared to make the choices. You got to be prepared to take the chances. Everything that your heart desires is right before you. Are you doing what you need to do? Are you seeing your truth? Or are you believing a lie? Are you faking it just to make it? Are you looking to impress people? You don't have to be worrying about being like other people. Be yourself. Be you. Be unique. The truth is, you got to keep on working towards it. The truth is, it's not going to be easy. The truth is, it's what it is. The truth. But the real truth is that you have potential. Is that you have power. Perfection takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Be productive, not destructive. The truth is, you made excuses from time to time. The truth is, you didn't want to get out of your bed when you needed to get out of your bed. The truth is, you depended on other things to work for you instead of you putting in the work so that it could work for you. That's the truth. Nobody's gonna give you nothing. If it's been given to you, then you didn't earn it. That's when you step up to the plate. That's when you say, I gotta go. I gotta do it. Because if I don't do it, the next man or the next woman is going to do it and I'm going to be too late. You ain't got time to be late. Show up on time. You may be celebrating at the top right now, but you are not done yet. Doesn't matter how much money you got in your bank account. Doesn't matter how big your house is. Doesn't matter how many cars you own. No, you got more work to do. Your purpose must and will be fulfilled. None of us are that great, but we're working on it. But are you really prepared? Or are you gonna just sit back and watch everyone else do what they do? Time is everything. The moment has come. And you, my friend, are prepared. Oh, you're questioning yourself right now, right? You're thinking right now you're not ready, right? Well, I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, you're ready, you've been ready. The question is, can you stay ready? You got to understand that the work must be applied. Live, ladies and gentlemen. Just do you. Do the best of you. Wake up from your dreams. Every day that you are on this earth is a chance. Every day on this earth you got something that you must do. But sitting around wasting that time 
ain't gonna get it done. This is it. That moment. Right now. The moment of truth. Do something with it. Be you. Be unique. Everybody's got a story to tell. Everybody wants success. But how much work are you willing to apply to it? We could talk all day long about what you want and what you dream about. All you're doing is dreaming about it, but you're not doing nothing about it. Do something with it. What have you really done to make a difference? What have you really done to step outside of that true comfort zone that everyone seems to want these days? See, there can't be a comfort zone. The truth is, it's not gonna be easy. You got to keep on working towards it. And if you don't have faith in it, then it won't happen for you. If you're depending on other things to happen and you haven't even taken the first step, then you're not gonna get where you wanna be in your life. We can look at all of these magnificent people in the world, people that are above and beyond, people that you may admire, people that you may not ever get the chance to meet. You can look at them. But do you really know their story? Do you really know what they had to do to get what they got? And what they got doesn't mean it's for you. That's the truth. What you gonna do about you? You don't wanna be like nobody. Why do I wanna be like him or her? Looking at them and admiring their greatness. What about your greatness? What about your potential? You don't have to keep up with the Joneses. Just do you. Do the best of you. And so what? Everybody ain't gonna be able to celebrate it. Everybody don't like what you got to say or what you gotta do. But somebody out there is listening to you. Somebody out there is watching you. See, ladies and gentlemen, we got work to do, all of us. We all got a position in this world. We all got something to do. You are alive and you're breathing and you got something that you need to do and while you're alive, you better get busy. Are you listening to me, my beautiful people? You're gonna get knocked down. It's gonna happen. But you're not done yet. This, my friends, is the moment of truth. So let that truth resonate. Go for it. Earn it. Live it. Breathe it. And for the rest of your life, conduct your business. The moment of truth. The opportunities. Everything that your heart desires is right before you. This is it! The moment of truth! When the time comes, what would you leave behind? What legacy will be left behind to remind others of your greatness, of your losses, of your victories, of your sorrows. This is a short life that we all have. And it's not easy. It's not easy living it every day. It's not easy to go through so many different circumstances, so many different challenges. It's not easy getting that pink slip 
knowing that this may be your last day on your job. It's not easy knowing that you may lose your home because you got laid off your job. This type of pain and these different circumstances, many people are always gonna come back and say, well, that's life. We cannot blame life. It is not life that makes these challenges what they are today. It is the purpose and purpose never lies. It will always tell you the truth. But while you exist in this world right now, I need you to hold on. I need you to hold on strong and don't give up. I need you to believe in every possibility that you have and understand that it is not over for you. I need you to understand life is always gonna be good. But always keep in mind, sooner or later, we all gotta punch that clock. So carry on, and don't give up, and don't give in, and do the best that you can to have the right attitude to make your existence matter. Life is so short. Life only has only a little time. Although it will continue to go on, but you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one, someone that we cared about. But yet we're still here. And now we must go on. But what is the example that we're gonna leave? What kind of leadership and what kind of leadership qualities do we have? How do we go on? How do we lead the next generation? Hate is not gonna make it work. Being afraid to be truthful to who you are will only limit who you truly are inside. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone take away who you are and how true you are and what you matter in this world to so many other people. Don't be afraid to be honest. Don't be afraid to be truthful. Don't be afraid to be different. Even being different can be difficult to a lot of people. But I guarantee you this, there's nobody in the world that can do you. How many hours do you put into your craft? How much work are you putting into your ideas? How many times have you taken so many breaks that it pushed you back instead of pushing you forward? How much suffering have you put into your craft? How much suffering are you willing to endure for success? This is the time you need to ask yourself. You need to get clarification within yourself and understand what it is to be successful. Success doesn't take vacations. Ask yourself this, how many champions have you seen 
in your lifetime? Or do you know any champions? Perhaps maybe you were a champion at one time in your life, but you took a vacation. See, the thing about champions is that there are very few of them, but there are many more people that do not understand the significance of what it means to apply significant hard work. And to be able to get the hard work in and being able to persevere in their lives. I understand that you get tired. I understand you have those off days, but there are no off days when it comes to success. You have to have the ability to stand on and stand up and rise up to the occasion and getting the work done. You got to suffer through success. You have to believe in your possibilities. You have to understand that there's only one person that can get it done. If the rest of the team is not doing what they need to do, then you have to take the charge. Maybe you don't feel you have leadership qualities, but you do. We are all positioned to lead some point in time in our lives. But are you prepared to suffer? Are you prepared to go through the nights and the daytimes of many hours of applying everything you have within yourself? Have you had that point in your life when you was just so tired and you couldn't push that next hour or that second hour out because you needed your sleep? Oh, I need to catch up on my sleep. You can't catch up on your sleep. There is no such thing as catching up. It means nothing but going up to the next level in your life. That's what it's about. It's been a long day. It's been a long night. You've been putting in so many hours, but yet, are you in a position to quit? Or are you in a position to go harder? Are you in a position to go stronger? Are you willing to dig and go as far as you can in your life? Are you willing to suffer? See, you got to understand, when I talk about champions, when I talk about people who are ultimately successful, you got to remember these people don't take breaks. They don't know what rest is. When everybody's telling you you should rest, you should be working. Because if you're resting, then you're taking away your best of yourself. Now, I'm not telling you to commit suicide and bury yourself in your work. There is always going to be a time and place for everything. But what is everything? What is everything to you? And how far are you going to give yourself more? How much more are you willing to give it yourself? Success, it doesn't take breaks. It's not going to apologize. It's not going to wait for you. It's not going to say, hey, I'll give you a little bit more time and I'll come pick you up later. No, it doesn't work like that. That's not how success works. But you got to be the one to take the stand. You got to be the one to go forward. How far and how much are you willing to give of yourself? Are you prepared to suffer? Do you know how many hours it takes to be the best of yourself? Do you know how much work you got to put in? You can't be in and out with your project. You can't be in and out with your craft. Your ideas are your ideas. Your dreams are your dreams. Now go after it. But understand, there's going to be some rocky times. There's going to be a lot of hills that you're going to have to climb. There's going to be a lot of obstacles that are going to try to stand in your way. But you don't have to take these obstacles and hold on to them. Utilize everything you have in your heart and in your mind and in your soul and connect with these things so that you can get the most of your life. So feel and understand that success doesn't come easy. You don't deserve a reward if you didn't apply the work. You hear often people will say, Work smart, not hard. No champion, no champion works easy. There is no easy and work. Work is work. That means you got to put in the work if you want to get something out of it. Just pace yourself, but get to work. You don't have to go fast, but get to work. You don't necessarily have to go slow, but get to work. This is it, this is that time, and this is that moment right now. You look at all of these people today. 
Look at all the successful people. How many times have you looked at your television or you saw someone driving up the block with a nice vehicle or someone living in a nice home on top of a hill and you said, man, I wish I had a house like that. Why are you wishing instead of doing? When everybody's out there making mistakes, when everybody's out there not being responsible, are you going to be the one to be responsible? If you are a father, if you are a mother, it is your responsibility to be the best parent that you can be. If you are in charge of a company or you are a manager or anything that requires your responsibility to step up, then it is up to you to lead by example. You have to take the lead, not always following, but leading the pack, leading in the right direction, doing the things that will take you to the levels that you need to go and beyond them. But you can't hold back anymore. And you can't say I'm sorry all the time because your sorry just ain't gonna cut it. Step up to the plate and be responsible. Step up to the plate and do what's necessary. Step up to the plate and do all the things that is required. And then we can talk. Then we can talk about the next thing in your life. Then you can have that intimate conversation with yourself, within yourself, and realize that this is it. Now I got more work to do. There comes a time in your life where you have to step up to the plate. There comes a time in your life where you have to understand the significance of what it means to be responsible. To have the responsibility to understand that you have to take full control of your actions. Now many people tend to wait and not get themselves in a position to where they need to be and to be accountable for what they do in their lives. Being responsible, taking full action of everything you do in your life depends on you now many people are waiting for something they're waiting for something to happen they're waiting for someone to give them the okay to move on but this is not something that you need to be thinking about you have got to realize that it is up to you to make moves to move forward to get the job done being responsible taking full responsibility to everything that you do from the way you speak, the way you walk, maybe even the way you dress. Because your presentation and everything you do depends on you. I'm here to let you know right now, ladies and gentlemen, that you got to be the one to take action. You got to be the one to realize that it is up to you to get things done and get it done the right way. Sometimes people just don't want to be responsible. They want to make excuses. They want to hold back. They're waiting for something. As I said before, waiting is not going to get the job done. Ask yourself, when you get up in the morning, what is your daily routine? What is your routine every single day of your life? What did you miss out on? What did you forget? And are you looking for someone to bail you out? This is not how it works, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time for you to be responsible for your actions, to have full capabilities of everything that you do moving forward in your life. There's no time to say, I'm sorry. There's no time to say, I quit. When you're saying that you're sorry, don't be sorry, just do better. Do better in your actions because sorry doesn't always cut it. You just gotta do better. You gotta do better in your life because if you're holding back, then you can't go forward. You can't get the most of your life because you're not being responsible. You're not doing the things that are necessary to get the job done. So why do you continue to wait? Why do you continue to hold back? If you make a mistake, so what? Make the mistake, learn from the mistake, and press on. But don't sit around and just wait. Don't lay around, don't be lazy, be responsible. If you make it a mistake, it's okay. Make the mistake, learn from it, 
and carry on. Who said that you have to be perfect? If you believe in your life right now that everything you do is gonna be perfection, then you're making the biggest mistake of all. You just lied to yourself. You believe in something that's not even true. Who said that you had to be perfect? But it is your duty to carry on.